processed meat. Quick question for you. I've been told <clears throat> I ought to cut down on processed meats. I've been reading there, it's sort of quite bad for you. Can you tell me what is a processed meat? Is bacon processed? Probably not. Salami, is that processed? How about a ham? Oh, right. Square ham. You don't know whether a sausage is processed or not. Now, processed meat has been linked to bowel cancer, according to the World Health Organization. So I've come to Northern Ireland to get to the bottom of what's safe and what's not. It is breakfast time in Belfast, and uh, the crew are tucking into a full English. Bacon, sausages. Which ones are processed? I think all of them. Processed or not processed, that's a sensitive subject for sausage supremo Dennis Lynn. Welcome to Fennelbrook. Nice to meet you. Dennis's sales went down 20% when the report hit the headlines, and he's got beef with the World Health Organization. Why do you think that the WHO's recommendations around processed meat don't apply to your sausages? Well, that's very, very simple. I think the best way to explain this is to show you what goes into our sausages. Hands in here? Yeah. Dennis's state-of-the-art factory makes over 140 million sausages a year. So high-tech. First spot of sausage. And aren't all sausages processed? I've got my eyes peeled. This is the beginning of your sausage. British outdoor brand pork shoulder. So there's nothing wrong with that, is it? That's a lovely piece of pork. Let's get mincing. Fresh. Do you add anything at this point? Nothing, nothing. We just mince the meat. Nothing is slipping into these sausages that I don't know about. First up, you're putting your mince in, and it's 100% pure, fresh, It's exactly the pork. same 100% pork that you saw us, us mince there, yeah. I'm just checking, Dennis. I've yep. got to check. Yep, absolutely. OK, what's going in next? Chives, parsley, and gluten-free crumb. So maybe it is just Mother Nature's finest. Anything else? Salt, pepper, and a preservative called E223. <laughs> Again, Dennis. E223. Well, this is it, isn't it? E223. You're putting an E number in your sausage, therefore it puts it into the process category. It's a very complicated question. E223 is in most fruit juices, all beers, wines, cakes, buns. E223 is a very, very safe preservative, and there are no carcinogenic links at all. I want to see it in isolation. Oh, OK, right, this is it. Now, although you're saying that this doesn't make your sausage processed, according I'm not, I'm to... Not, I'm not saying it doesn't make it processed. It goes through a process. But the word processed means different things to different people. It is not in the same category as a European style sausage that has had nitrites added to it, which make it cured. So it seems not all sausages are equal, and that is Dennis's issue. The British sausage should never have been in the same category. I mean, you can call it processed or call it whatever you like, but it just there's no reason to put it into that category. Would you eat your sausages every day? I do eat my sausages every day. I'm the chief taster. <laughs> this is the same as eating a pork chop. So Dennis clearly doesn't see his sausages as processed meat, but if they aren't, then what is? I think I need to clear up exactly what is meant by processed meat. I'm going to email the World Health Organization and find out how they define it. Time to call in a professional. OK, Matt. I emailed the World Health Organization to find out exactly what their definition of processed meat is, OK? Yes. Now, what I want to do today with you is make the most processed sausage known to man. Fine. And we're going to find out what all these processes do to our meat. OK, so we've got our lovely pork. Now, this, at this stage, is not processed no. at all. OK. The first thing we're going to do is cure it. Manufacturers commonly use nitrites. This is the stuff that Dennis told me usually goes into those European salamis and pepperonis. These are toxic chemicals, so already, in my head, alarm bells are going. Next, we extend its shelf life. This is a preserving tablet. OK. Metabisulfate. It's also E223. That's the stuff in Dennis's bangers. Fermentation. Uh, this is live bacteria. All those continental sausages are fermented to make them last longer. Next, flavour enhancer. MSG here. Monosodium glutamate. Now, this stuff, according to the FSA, mm. is completely safe. It makes my Chinese food taste good. <laughs> <laughs> On the whole. MSG, E223 and the live bacteria go, to date, there is no conclusive evidence to suggest they cause cancer, which makes this whole thing even more confusing. 
Should we start mincing? Oh! Here it is. Do you want a Cumberland ring? I think that sounds fabulous. Ooh! Well done, man. <laughs> Finally, we're smoking these bad boys. Are we done? We're done. We're cooked. Okay. Your sausage yeah. is very different to Dennis's sausage. Yeah. <laughs> but according to that definition, yeah. they're both processed. Go on. I want you to uh, have a little nibble of your processed sausage. How is it? It's quite dense. I'm actually not going to have a nibble. You don't even draw a nibble, no? Do you know what? I You're think... all fun and games earlier now when it comes to the crunch. I know. Do you know what, so Matt? For the first time ever, I'm going to have to say no to your sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll peel it. Come on, come back. 